Hello everyone and welcome to the second generation's devlog. I'm Zypeguy, the sole developer, and oh boy will this episode be packed. I've worked on quite a bit of stuff since my last video. I may have also forgotten to upload while working on this, sorry. Hey also, you can now wishlist generations on Steam, so please go ahead and do so. It helps out a lot when Steam is deciding what games to recommend to people and it will remind you when the game comes out. So, please do that. Hey by the way, if you want to follow the development of generations, you can join the generations discord. Or you can join Zypeguy's Codehouse, my main server for updates regarding the channel. Now, let's talk about what I added after the last video. First of all, I added crafting. It's a very simple system, you just select a recipe and press craft. If you have enough resources, it will craft it. There's also craft time, based on how hard the item is to craft. There will also be workbenches you can create as well as animals. They will allow you to create much more advanced gear that would be impossible to do by hand, such as sharpened stone and metal. And the background is a time lapse of me creating that. Not much more to say about the crafting system honestly, it's pretty simple to do. My second task was adding building. Now for the past iterations of generations, I've been using a grid based system. However, grid based building really doesn't work well with the type of game I'm trying to make. So I decided to make something more closer to Rust. As someone smarter than me once said, if it works, don't touch it. So I decided to keep it at that. There are more types of builds you can choose, walls, doors, foundations, etc. And I will add more building types later on, but for now, this is enough. After that was another simple task. Multiplayer. Ah, <sighs> small issue, yeah. I've done multiplayer for generations before. First I tried it with Photon, Pun 2. After that I tried Mirror. Although Photon is easier to start with, I ended up choosing Mirror because it's more of a tool than a full corporate product. There's also the fact that I don't want to pay for hosting. I already have some experience with Mirror as I've used it for some scrapped projects before. I had to rewrite almost everything in the game to work with multiplayer. Some of these things are the player itself, saving, building and syncing the world. Now originally I talked about how multiplayer works and how all the systems work in my game. But that's boring and complicates the video. So here is it condensed. You host the game, someone tries to join it, and Steam itself does the communication. The player itself was hard because this is what the player looks like from the outside. I put together a player character and that's it, right? Well, sadly no. I had to give him animations and hook up those animations to work with multiplayer. Thankfully, Mirror has this handy component called Network Animator that does it for us. After that, multiplayer now works. Except some other quirks that took two months to add fully, but still. Finally, I want to talk about my plans for the game, while a video of my cat plays in the background. I want this game to be about sustaining your survival. Creating farms to produce corn, wheat and a plethora of other crops. Making barns for animal husbandry, so you can breed animals and have a steady source of food. Going mining in deep mines to find stronger ores and resources creating different types of armor and tools, eventually having a stable enough environment to call yourself safe. Hey, before the video ends, I want to tell you a little secret. I had three codes for generations in this video. If you want to play the game early, go ahead and try to find them. Have fun! That is about all I have to show off in this video. I have a few more videos planned for the next month, as well as a face reveal video that will be sometime this year. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment about what you thought and I will see you in the next video. Zypeguy out.